Here's an interesting chemical reaction. It's got three bottles instead of two, so it must be advanced chemistry. But they're labeled A, B, and C. And uh, so let me uh, do this and see what happens, and then, then maybe we can explain it after we get done. So there's a little bit of uh, A, and there's a little bit of B, about an equal amount there. There's a little bit of C here. I'll put that in that beaker. And uh, then according to the recipe, what we do is uh, take them and mix them together. Whoa! Instant urine. Well, let's... Uh, whoa! Well, changes color. Ha! Huh. Well, that's interesting. And then, shazam! It changes back. Shazam! Ha ha! I'm getting pretty good. You'd think I was magic here. Well, if we watch this over time, it'll shilly-shally, as they call it. It's a shilly-shally reaction, and uh, they have to be designed just right. What's happening here this is a quite a complex process, but uh, in these bottles, when I combine this, there are certain substances which, when combined, would change color from the, from the gold color to the blue. But also included in there is a secret ingredient, an inhibitor molecule. And that molecule is preventing the change of color by its presence. But it's getting eaten up in a reaction of its own. And consequently, as time goes on, this inhibitor molecule is eventually eaten up, it's gone, and then the original mixture then changes color. But the reaction that eats up the inhibitor is just exactly producing the right products to combine with this changed color mixture to change back to the original color and to do it all again. Well, that's a shilly-shally reaction.